Oscar-winning actor and comedian Monique is calling for a boycott in Netflix for gender and racial discrimination, saying she was offered a fraction of what other comics are being paid by the streaming network for comedy specials. Now, she's here to share her story with us today. So please welcome the fabulous Monique. <laughs> Mo, Netflix offered you a half a mil for a comedy special. Yes. Uh, they reportedly gave Amy Schumer 13 mil. Yes. Is your issue that Netflix offered Amy more than you or that you feel they're discriminating against women or women of color? What, what exactly? Well, the issue was when I first said, let's boycott Netflix, I said for gender bias and color bias. Mm -hmm. Because when... Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle received their um, offers. Mm -hmm. They were $20 million, and they were very public about the offers. Mm -hmm. When Amy Schumer initially received her offer, it was $11 million. Mm -hmm. yeah. She went back to Netflix and said, I shouldn't get what the legends are getting, mm -hmm. but because I'm a woman, I should get more. And Netflix agreed, and mm -hmm. they then gave her $2 million more. Mm -hmm. That's where the $13 million okay. comes from. So in the discussion with Netflix, Robbie Prohl, who was vice president of comedy when he was speaking with my husband, Sidney, and our attorney, Ricky Anderson, they were saying, you know, <coughs> speaking in reference to the deal, and they wanted to know, how did you come up with that number? Mm -hmm. How is it that Monique gets paid 126 less mm -hmm. than Amy Schumer would get mm -hmm. paid? And Robbie Prohl said, well, we go by what we anticipate you'll do. Right. Mm -hmm. So then Sidney said, well, based off of Monique's resume, you see that what she's done, mm -hmm. I know, but we don't go off of resumes. Mm -hmm. He said, well, then I may, may I ask how you came up with Amy Schumer's number? He said, well, she sold out Madison Square Garden twice, mm -hmm. and she had a hit movie in 2017. Mm -hmm. Sydney then said, is that not Amy Schumer's resume? And then this was the response. Mm -hmm. Radio silence. It got dead silent. Mm -hmm. And then he said, we appreciate what you're trying to say. And then they said, well, because Sydney and uh, uh, Attorney Anderson said, well, what's your, what guy, what is your best offer? Mm -hmm. Robbie Prohl said, we'll go back and we'll meet with the team mm -hmm. and then we'll come back to you guys. But Monique, when she sold out to two four, four houses at, at Madison Square Garden, that means the girl can pull. It's all about asses in the seats. I totally agree and, with you. You know what I mean? So yes. that's not her resume. That's what she drew. That, yeah. Yes, I totally agree with okay. you. And when you look at the resume of Monique, that's asses in the seats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's the point. So, <laughs> so, so it's not about the resume. It's about how the it, people it, you draw. The, the, the point is, yeah. but it is also about the resume. Because what happens is, our finish line keeps changing. And when I say that, Whoopi, as a black woman in Hollywood, see, if initially you're told, build up your resume, and that's what'll get the money. Then you build up your resume, and then they'll say, well, you know what, we see the resume, but we'll get them the next time. All right. And you never meet your next time. Right. So when it comes to Netflix, and with Amy Schumer and Dave Chappelle and, and Chris Rock, and let me say this, what they got, they were supposed to. Mm -hmm. I don't have an issue with my sister Amy, mm -hmm. nor my brother Dave and Chris. Mm -hmm. But when the vice president of Netflix says to my husband and our attorney, by the way, Monique is a legend too. Uh -huh. Well, if I'm a legend, why wouldn't I get what the legends are getting? Uh -huh. okay. Do you think they underestimated the power of the black dollar? Because well, you say you can fill those seats. I know they Are underestimate they underestimating the power that? of the black dollar. We, the black dollar. We see that in our movies, in the theaters that we're giving. Black we Panther, see that. Right now. That it's, well, we raking see that. It in, yeah. And it's raking it in. And, and the question I would say is, that's not something that we don't do. Mm -hmm. Our movies do that when we're giving the proper opportunities. Okay. So when it comes to Netflix, and I have to go back to it, when you tell me that you are a legend, and we do know that Monique is great, and Monique is funny, then how do you offer me... $12.5 million mm -hmm. 
than you offer Amy Schumer and $19.5 million Less. that you offer two Less. men that you yeah. say are legends. Right. But what yes. do you Monique, say to the Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We have to say that in a statement to ABC, Netflix says that they don't discuss contract negotiations. But that being said, Wanda Sykes actually came out in support of you, saying yes. that Netflix offered her even half <laughs> of what they offered you. So what was your reaction when you found that out? Well, what, let me say this with Netflix, because they said they can't comment because they're in the middle of negotiations. There are no negotiations. Netflix came back and said, pretty much, you take it or leave it. That's what it is, and we're not willing to negotiate it. When Wanda Sykes came out, I applauded that. Mm -hmm. And I understand why oftentimes you don't be the first one to come out. Yeah. Because it can be a scary place. But then when you know that Wanda Sykes is with the same agent as Dave Chappelle, as Chris Rock, as Amy Schumer, why was Wanda Sykes the only one offered $250,000? That is and when, suspicious. That is very suspicious. Let me, let me say something before. We don't have a lot of time. Huh? Big name. Because this is, a, this is a more unpleasant question, but I want yes. you to respond to it. Because there are people who think that it's because you have a... This is what... You have a difficult reputation, yes. that you're a bit of a troublemaker, yes. that, that's, that, all, that all started eight years ago. Yes. So what do you, what do you say to that? I say thank you for letting Th me speak on it. That's why they didn't want to hire And you. eight years ago, I did a movie called Precious. Mm -hmm. And... Thank you. You were quite brother for that. Huh? You were quite brother for that. I thank you, baby. Very good. And on that film, I received $50,000, and that was not my argument nor my fight, because that's what I signed up for. Uh -huh. Once I did all of my obligations, my deal was with a man named Lee Daniels. Mm -hmm. I did all of my contractual obligations and I was done. Then when I start getting calls from Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, and Lionsgate, and they wanted me to come work for free. They to wanted me to go over to Khan and promote this film internationally. Uh -huh. And I said to them, I said, guys, my deal is with Lee Daniels and I've done my job. Uh -huh. And they all agreed. Uh -huh. And this is what happens, in my humble opinion, when you don't go up to the hotel room. See, when I think about those women that Wait, said... I'm going to stop you. Okay. I'm going to stop you. Okay. Because contractually... Yes. When you make a movie, regardless of who you sign the deal with... Yes. Your job mm -hmm. is to go and promote said movie. Yes. That's... that's I, no, 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 no. So when they wanted you to come, and I, we've had this conversation, yes, mm -hmm. and I said if you had called me, mm -hmm. I could have schooled you mm -hmm. on what was expected. And when we did have that conversation, and what I said to you, mm -hmm. my sweet sister, I said, Whoopi, at what point do we stop saying the next time? Because what, what was expected? What, what, wait, what but next I want to answer it though. Yeah. I want to answer when you say you contractual. You want to get paid for the public to do the publicity? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Because if I had done something wrong contractually, they would have sued me. The reason why no one could do anything to me contractually, because they found out I did nothing wrong contractually. So when they asked me to come overseas mm -hmm. to promote the film, mm -hmm. when, they, when I said, guys, I'm spending time with my family, I'm going to pass. Mm -hmm. Now, when I make this statement, this is what happens when you don't go to the room. Mm -hmm. What Tyler Perry showed me, Lee Daniels, mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey, mm -hmm. and Lionsgate, when you don't do what we ask you to do, yeah. we'll take your livelihood. So for eight years, for eight years, my family has suffered and my career has suffered because what I would not allow those entities to do was bully me. And because I didn't allow the bullying to happen, this Wrong. is now what I sit in. Okay, okay. we have to go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shoot. <coughs> Thanks for coming, Monique. Yeah. Thanks. We'll be right back. Me.